Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. Well, big big red's giving me the shits again. Bastard. Bastard. Right. Well, I started her up this morning when I mowed up the back. I got halfway through and the deck arm come off. The split pin down in here. Down in there come off. Dropped the deck down right onto the deck and I've cut a big long stretch, probably about 20 foot long. So cut it off and bring it back. Got that one fixed. But I noticed she was very noisy this morning again through the muffler. She was very noisy. So what had happened was I had to take this bitch off, this outer off, and there's got a little manifold here, and that was loose. So I tightened it up before with Allen keys, but it wasn't a, mustn't have been tight enough. So I remember when I went through, I thought, hang on, I've got those ones from Andrews Martin that he sent me from Germany. And I said, oh, I'm going to try that. And bugging me dead, they fitted. So with those, I was able to get onto the ratchet and tighten the shit out of that bastard. So I'm very, very pleased. Thank you, Andrews Martin. So this is now tight as, tight as. So then, of course, when I pull that off, I see here this is totally worn out and this is leaning over. So the bushes actually are here, look, they've eaten out. Absolutely eaten out. So what I've done, being a smart ass little prick I am, I got some, the white water pipe, which is here, 25 mil. So I got this stuff here. And now I drilled this end out with a um, step drill. And I found out, oh yeah, that works, but it's not long enough. Step drills are only about an inch long. So what I did is I got some, bloody turkeys fighting again. So I got the um, wood drill out. Ugh! Excuse me. Oi, you, leave her alone. Bloody boys fighting the mama again. So, it's dark in here. I've got the turkey sitting in here, look. Hello, darling. Say hello to the viewers. There's your food, there's your water. So what I did is I got this one out, look, and I stuck it through, and uh, it worked. So I was able to um, expand the opening, because I was thinking, oh, if I had an oxy, I could heat up the shaft and just slide it straight down. I could melt it down onto it, but I don't have an oxy. Not that I'd... I wouldn't use one, you know, it's like very rarely I'd use it anyway. So um, I ended up got the drill on it and um, cut that down. And now look, voila. So I've closed off a good gap, a good quarter inch at least gap on here. So now I can put all this back together again, get all this reconnected. And um, I'm hopefully that will stand it back up flat with this wheels laying over on a tilt in. Was it a toe in as they call it? All right, let's see if I can get this back together. But um, it certainly worked, a bit of water pipe, look. You know, if you had a lathe, you'd get yourself a piece of um, nylon and you'd machine it down to fit the internal, external, and also have a little lip on the side, the same as like this one here. But I don't have a lathe, like, come on. But I think this will do it. It's taken it all out. Right, let's get this back together. Right, well, that's lifted it right off here. Look, look how much that was rubbing against there. Totally rubbing against it. Look at that. So now it's lifted it right up and it's pulled it up and I've got a flat wheel again. I tell you what, old red gives me a lot of trouble at times, but I'll tell you, she cuts through the grass like you wouldn't believe. She really does. And uh, it's a pity that um, I, did, I wasn't the only one who was driving it right at the start because it would have been in better condition. Because seriously, Clark used to drive it like it was a rally car. Because he'd never ever driven a um, car before, never driven a, a buggy before, never driven anything before, only a um, bike. So um, to him, when he used to go up and mow the back paddock, he would go a thousand miles an hour. And that's how he burnt it out at the front gate here, going backwards, forward, backward, forwards, and he would just pull up fast, throw it into forward gear, snap, goes the belt. And it's like, fucking slow down, you fuck, slow down. But I think I'll get this one done. I think it's work, guys. Making my own homemade bushes. Yeah. Right, so here's the other side. Look, nothing wrong with that. It's absolutely gorgeous. But um, it certainly lowered, the tilt on that certainly lowered the decking. I couldn't get a, a flat cut on that one there. That one's all right. I think this will do it, the old girl. Ugh, fuck, my dog. All right, let's get this exhaust on. <clears throat> Oh, come on, you. Oh. 
can't see him. Locking nuts. Okay, all done, guys. I said, hobby farmers, we can do anything. Why? Because we're hobby farmers. All right, guys, I'm happy with that. She's all, all nice and tight, it's nice and tight now. So I'll have a, a decent cut again. It won't be tilted over now, it'll actually be more flatterer, which makes the bar more flatter, so I can carry on doing the grass cutting before I clean him up. So thanks a lot for watching us this morning on making bushes for the mower. We got the bushes made, it did work, so I'm happy. So thanks thanks very much for watching. Remember, you can support the channel by hitting the um, join button. It's only like five, ten, fifteen dollars a month, which is um, in Australia that's only like free cigarettes, isn't it? You anyway, know, free cigarettes a month. That's all it is. Cheap as chips, mate. Cheap as chips. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. Don't forget the join buttons there, guys. It really helps us out on the farm. Thank you very much, and thank you, Andreas Martin, for your tools. Thank you.